All right. That's all they mean is black, man. And we ain't black, we differentiate the brown. And I asked that Jake down there what color was the Lord, and he said he was brown, man. Okay? The word, the word nigger is there in Acts 13 chapter. Yeah. This is Acts chapter 13, verse 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simon, that was called nigger. Yeah, so that was, that's in the Bible, man. But Esau just took it and twisted it, man. Okay? Because he's stupid, man. Esau, Esau, Esau is doing things on this earth to provoke Jake so he can kill Jake, man. That's what he's doing, man. But Jake don't see what Jake don't see what it is, man. Okay? Jake can't see it, man, because they blame him, man. Give me your uh, Romans 11 chapter, man. Jake can't see it, man. Romans 11 is uh Seven. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Question. Israel has not obtained, obtained that which he seeketh for, <coughs> but the election has obtained it. Yeah, the election that went in the scriptures. Get the mark, right? Search out the scriptures because we just read in, uh, in uh, uh, John 5 and 39, right? Search the scriptures. So, which mean when you look it up, it means examine. So what the elect did, they heard the word because when you hear the word, uh, matter of fact, jump up, jump up, uh, uh, jump over one chapter and read uh, 10 and 17. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and the hearing by the word of the Most High. So we heard the word, right? And then faith kicked in, and we start reading and searching the scriptures, right? So go back over to uh, uh, Romans 11 and 7. This is uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Question. Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for. Yeah, two-thirds have not obtained it, man. The truth, man. They ever learn it, but not able to come to the full knowledge of the truth, man. Okay? Go ahead. But the election has obtained it. Yeah, that's that grace and that divine influence of the mind, that faith to go into the scriptures, right, and search it out, man. And we found out, starting with the elders, apostles, GMS, on down, that we are Israelites, man. Uh, okay, the Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man. Our true biblical Hebrew Israelites. Go ahead. And the rest were blinded. And the rest were blinded, man. Two thirds of the Negro Latinos and Native Americans are blinded, man. Okay. That's why they don't understand what we're saying, man. They look at us like we're strangers, man. Okay, go ahead. Verse 8. According as it is written, I have given the spirit of slumber, eyes that they could not see, and ears that they should not hear no. unto this day. So that's why they don't understand, man. Because faith come by hearing of the word. So when that faith come kick in, right? When that faith kick in, you will go into the scriptures, okay? And you will continue to watch video, continue to watch video, and you will continue, continue to study and go into the scriptures and get understanding, man. Two thirds of Jake ain't doing that, man. That's why they don't understand the scriptures, man. Okay? And then on top of that, if you got some Jake that'll try to get in the scriptures and jump from camp to camp to camp to camp to camp, right? And then try to come back over there with brother GMS in a, in a confused state, and they want us to break down the scripture when they got confused and went out there and looked somebody else, man. It ain't for them, man. Okay? It ain't for them, man. You people that jumping from camp to camp and, and, and not sticking with GMS, hey man, you gonna stay in a confused state, man. Okay? But we can see it, man. You, you, you guys, you guys that jump from camp to camp 
and ask certain questions, we'll be like, man, that's what they teach over there, man. Okay? That's what they teach over there. You want us to break it down to you, and once we break it down to it, you run back over there and start listening to them. That was, that was hey, man. You, you Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man, y'all got a big, a big uh, 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 sword coming your way, man. You can't even see it, man. And it's on fire. Yeah, a reward of a big sword on fire coming your way, man. Yeah, go ahead. So, verse 9. And David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Yeah. So, what is the table, man? What is that talking about, man? What is David talking about right there? Read that again, bro. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 9. And David said, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a re recompense unto them. He said, let that table be a stumbling block, man. What's the table according to the Bible? Give me Isaiah 38. <coughs> Let's see what the table is, man. And after you read that, we're going to jump back to Romans and read it again. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. Now go. Write it before them in a table and note it in a book. So what's the table? It's the book, man. It's the Bible, man. So read what you got back over there in Romans. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 9. And David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block. So who said that, man? Was not David after the most high heart? So David sent the curse upon two thirds of Israel, man. So when they try to get in this Bible, they try to get in this Bible and get understanding of it, okay? They gonna be in a confused state because it ain't meant for them to get it, man. It it trapped them and tripped them up, man, to where they can't get understanding of it, man. Okay? So David sent up a curse on two thirds of Israel, man. And what's happening right now? The house of David is being built, man. So two thirds of Israel ain't gonna be able to get in the house of David, man. Okay? You got it. You had a lot of Jake men. Uh, uh, you had a lot of Jake men walk by this count just a minute ago, man. You had a lot of them walk by, man. And did any of them? Did any of them stay here and stop? They had plans for somewhere else, man. You see that, man? Instead of hearing the word of the heavenly Father and His Son, they had plans to go somewhere else, man. But when the destruction comes, guess what they're gonna cry on? Jesus. <laughs> and they're going to get destroyed, man. Okay? Because they don't know the Heavenly Father and His Son real name. Go ahead. And they recompense unto them. Yeah, and they recompense unto them. So, if they don't get in these scriptures and study, okay, if they don't get in these scriptures and study or they can't see it, they in trouble, man. They in trouble, man. Because guess what the scripture said over there in, uh, 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 John, John, John 5 and 39. Read it again, bro. Because they don't get any scriptures to search them out. Guess what's going to happen, man? They're going to end up getting destroyed, man. John 5 and 39. This, this is, is the word John. that called Jesus said, man. Which is named Yahweh Shah the Hebrew and he's the Savior of Israel. Go ahead, bro. This is John chapter 5, verse 39. Search the scriptures. For in them ye think ye have eternal life. So here it is. The Lord is telling them to search the scriptures. So if they try to go in the scriptures and it trips them up and it's a stumbling block on to them, how are they going to receive eternal life? They're going to get destroyed. So two-thirds of the Negro Latinos and Native Americans uh, got to go. And them men that walked by here, that was marked, man. If they don't repent, they're going to die, man. Okay? They don't snap out of it, they're going to die, man. They were marked, they don't even know it. Okay? Go ahead, bro. And they are, they which testify of me. Yeah, this is the record, man. This is the record that we believe in, y'all, about Shana man. This is the record, man. Okay, go back to Romans.
right to wrong. You start at 13. Romans 11 to 13, start there again. This is Romans chapter 11. Okay, go ahead. What well, then? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What then Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the elect has obtained it. The elect, man. Not all Israel, the elect. Go ahead. And the rest were blinded. Hey, man, that's why they don't, that's why they don't understand the scriptures, man. Okay, Yahweh Shah said, search it. Well, you got Jake that try to get in these scriptures, they don't understand them, man. They blind, man. Our gospel is here to them, man. The God of this world has blinded them, man. Okay, they believe in lies, man. Go ahead. Verse 8. According as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber. Yeah, use the Esau, man. Put them in a deep sleep, man. The Most High used Esau to put two thirds of you Negro Latinos in America in deep sleep. But you trust in their lives. All you got to do is uh, Second Thessalonians, uh, 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 the second chapter. Okay, go ahead. Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. And Isaiah the sixth chapter. Go ahead. Unto this day. They can't hear it to this day, man. So if they can't hear the word, guess what's gonna happen? They ain't got faith. They say they believe, but they lying. Okay? Say they believe, but they're lying, man. They don't keep the statute of law and commandments to the best of their ability, man. He tell you that in Judges 5, the fifth chapter, we rehearse the righteous acts, man. In Judges 5th chapter, man. Okay? And then it tells you, it tells you in uh, the book of uh, uh, 1st John, man, if you say you know him and don't keep his commandments, you are a liar, man. It tells you that in the scriptures, man. Go ahead, bro. Verse 9, And David said, Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and they recompense unto them. Yeah, so if they try to get in these scriptures and they read them, it's like they drunk, man. They, it's, it's trapping them up, man. They can't get no understanding of it, man. And they bounce around. I'm going to tell you another thing they do. They bounce around in these different camps, man, and, and listen to all these camps. And then when they get in that confused state, they come back to GMS and, and want GMS to break it down. Nah, I'll stay over there with them confused, confused camps, man. Stay over there with them and drop dead with them, man. You know? Cause you, 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 you Negro Latinos in Native America are simple as hell, man. Okay? Here it is. It's, it's a known fact that GMS got the truth, but you want to bounce around all these other camps, man. Crazy, man. Craziness, man. And then, and then, you Jakes will come up on the comment board, okay? Cause I, I, I look at other brothers and read, and sometimes I go on their comment board, and, you, and they just say the wildest and the weirdest stuff. And then when they get cut, then when they get cut, they get all mad and emotional. Hey, man. Hey, man, the most, when the most I get rid of this internet, man, you just gonna be done, man. You just gonna be done, man, when you get rid of this internet. Get rid of that social media, that Facebook, that all that, all that, that Instagram. When the most I get rid of all that shit, man, you people gonna be done, man. You gonna be done, man. Go ahead, bro. Verse 10. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. Yeah, so bow down your back always. What is that? You allowing Esau to, to go over you because you're not upright. Okay? You're not upright. When you upright, you're standing upright. When you bend down, that's symbolic. Man. Matter of fact, look that up, man. Go over there and back all the way. Just pull out the closest definition to it. It might not be. You got so many words in that part, so it might not be. Oh, that's awesome. It's like, how are you? Bow down. 
chapter, right? It says to be Sukumto in this strong G4781 Sukumto it says to be together to be completely. Metaphor to be subject to to, to be subject to subject one to error and hardness of heart. So you ain't upright. You see that? A figure taken from bowing the back by captive compelling to pass under the yoke. So in other words, man, so in other words, you're not upright, man. I read that again. It says metaphor to subject one to error and hardness of heart. So if you bowing down, right, and you not upright, what are you doing? You in error, man. Let me see. What you, what you got? Yeah, that's it. Hey, that's it right there. You can read it for him, bro. Okay, this uh, bow down. Pulled it up in uh, Merriam-Webster. It says, "To show weakness by agreeing to the demands or following the orders of someone or something." Yeah, man, you ain't upright. So who you following? Esau, man. You let Esau do any and everything to you, man, because you're not in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and hey, you ain't searched the scriptures out, man. The script, the scriptures, the scriptures give you. Give your uh, spirit strength, man. It comforts you, man. And without that, you done, man. You basically done, man. It said bow down their back always, man. In error, man. In a weak state. I look up the word always. It said constantly, always, continually. Jake's out of there, man. Two thirds of you niggas like to know the name, man. Huh. Since you don't understand these scriptures, you in error always, man. You allow Esau to run over you, man. That's basically what the scripture is saying, man. You submit to Esau every will. That's why a lot of you niggas like to know the name, man. When Revelation, the third chapter, kick off, man, the hour of temptation, a lot of y'all gonna take that chip, man. Huh. So read that again, bro. In Romans 11, go straight to the point. They're bowing down. And you read that definition again in Web. This is uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 10. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their backs always. So they blind, man, to the word, man. Their eyes are darkened, man, if they not see, may not see, they can't see the words, man. They blind, man. And then they will bow down their back always, man. Okay? Man, Jake, they in error, man. They in error, man. The only thing that's going to correct them and get them out of that error is the spirit of power y'all by Shemel Shai. And them them understand them scriptures, man. They're having grace and faith, man. That's the only thing, man. That's it, man. Y'all by Shemel Shai is the only one who can get them out of this state of mind, man. Out of this condition, man. Because if not, if they ain't locked in these scriptures, they, hey, man, they subject to Esau, man. They go in the will of Esau. The red Hebrew Edomite. So-called white man. Got it. Uh, this is, uh, fell down. I looked it up in a Merriam-Webster dictionary. And it, and it, and it 
it says, to show weakness by agreeing to the demands or following the orders of someone or something. There it is, man. There it is, man. That's it right there. Give me 1 John 2 and uh, 2 and 4, man. 1 John 2 and 4. And then give me uh, 2 John, 2 John, uh, 2 John verse 8. This is uh 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. He that said, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. Is a liar, man. So you gotta you gotta understand you gotta understand the scriptures in order to do that. So a lot of these Negro Latinos in Native America, they walk around, they devils, man. That's what they are, man. They have their father the devil and the lust of their father they would do. They, he was a murderer from the beginning, man. Okay? So Esau has a heavy influence on these Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man. Because they in error, man. Because they're bowing down their back always, man. Continually. Because they don't understand the scriptures, man. Go ahead. And the truth is not in him. What? He said the truth is not in him, man. Read that again, bro. This is 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. He that said, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. And the truth is not in him, man. Okay? The truth is not in him. They're liars, man. So you say you know the heavenly father and the son and you don't keep the commandment, you're a liar, man. That's what you are, man. Okay? And there's two-thirds of niggas like you know the Native Americans, man. They are liars, man. They just like so-called white men. Double. Okay? Give me what you got in uh, 2 John verse 8. This is 2 John. Verse 8, look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Read that again for me. This is uh, 2 John, verse 8. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward reward yeah so in other words you got to examine yourself you got to continue to examine yourself if you don't you'll lose what you got and end up falling out man you got to continue to examine yourself man you got to man because you got so many demons out here trying to seduce you to, to go another way man so you got to hold fast to what you got man you always got to examine yourself man at least you lose it man and be put to shame and won't receive your reward, man. And won't stay in the love of your Abba Shema Shah, man. So you got to apply these scriptures, man. You got to do what these scriptures say, man, the best of your ability, man. And by us reading, reading Romans 11 chapter, two-thirds are done, man. They in constant error, man. They in a weak state of mind, they in weak nature, man. They ain't got no strength, man. The most high not with them, man. Okay? If they ain't searching these scriptures, so you think the most high gonna help these two thirds? Hell no, man. All you gotta do is look up the words and search them out. Most high ain't helping these two thirds, man. They they done, man. They don't give two shits about them, man. Uh, I know it sounds harsh, but he don't, man. They done, man. They set up for destruction, man. 